Hi everyone, Peter Lissiaga here, your Mount Lower Martial Arts guy. And hey guys, before I get started, sharing five common parenting struggles. And you know guys, the struggle is real when it comes to parenting. Before I get into all that and five areas that I find that I struggle in, that are most of, of us parents do struggle in. Before I get into all that, if you want to find out about our program at Donato Karate Center, go to DonatoKarate.com. You can give me a call, 856-235-0414. But better yet, you can text me right now. This is the best way to get a hold of me personally, directly, 856 235 uh, no, it's 856-278-5282. Text me. Okay, guys, you can call that number, but you'll get a machine. I usually check my messages later on in the, in the day. So if you want to, uh, uh, go to our website, go to denialofkarate.com, or you can text me, 856-278-5282. Now, today I was, um, I had, I had something else I was going to share with you on um, parents today. And then on my drive, I was running errands today. And one of my mentors, and this gentleman is just extremely, extremely successful. And he had an incredible event that was extremely successful as well. But he came on today um, talking to us. And we have this uh, private uh, group that we come to and he shares with us he had to, he said hey guys I have to be honest with you guys I woke up today and I was struggling you know even though I had all these successes I'm doing really really well and extremely successful but I'm struggling as a parent and then he started talking about that and it had me thinking uh, uh, that you know struggling as parents no matter where you are whether you are uh, struggling to pay your bills or whether you are you know extremely successful professionally and, and academically, no matter what's going on in your world, as a parent, you're going to have those moments where you're going to struggle because the struggle is real. No one's perfect. And I, I have my moments. We all have our moments. So I'm going to talk about five common struggles that uh, I think that most of us have as parents. Okay, guys. Now, if you come up, if I miss something here, I'm sure I will. Just go ahead and put it in the comment section below and let me know what your thoughts are with that. Or you can, of course, text me and I'd be happy. So my first thing is this, that we all have this fear. We all have, have this fear that that, uh, you know, hey, you know, uh, that something's going to happen to our children. We have, we start creating, you know, our imagination really goes wild. And oftentimes, you know, we think of the worst case scenario. And, and it's this constant what if game that we play with ourselves. And what if this happens? What if that happens? And we always think of the worst case scenario. And I remember a scene from Parenthood when, uh, when Steve Martin, who plays the lead character, the dad and his and his wife, they're having this discussion, and their their son, or one of the kids, just had this breakthrough, and then uh, the wife was saying, "Wow, this is awesome! Isn't it great?" And then Steve Martin's character comes back to, "But what if he doesn't make it?" She says, "But but he did, but he did. But what happens if he did it? What?" Hap-? She says, "But he did." And they had this big argument or this big heated discussion about you know how he's focused on the what ifs. And he's building up this frenzy and getting all hyped up about it. And his wife's just focusing, but he did it. It did not happen. And we do that with ourselves. We let our fears just really exploit our insecurities. So we've got to be aware of that. We've got to be what I call be in the moment. Look at reality of what's what it is at that moment. And what I call present focus. And I do that on the training floor when I'm teaching with the students. I'm present focused. No matter what's going on in my day or what's went on in my day, I come to class and I'll, you know, I'll tell my daughter right before we walk through the doors at Donato Karate, you know, which is where I work. I work full time during the day. I do marketing and promotions and really sharing uh, with parents. And my goal, my whole ambition is to share my knowledge, what I've learned as a martial artist for uh, 48 years and teaching full time for 20 years at Donato Karate Center to students as young as two years old and, and working with and alongside parents you know, these last 20 plus years that I want to share the knowledge with you guys. Right before I go to Denama Karate Center, I always go to my daughter and say, it's showtime. And what I mean by that is I get present focus and I'm focused at the task at hand. No matter what's going on in my day, no matter what upset insecurities I'm struggling with, I put all that to the side. And we've got to stay focused on that. Don't let our fear mess with our insecurities 
and our doubts and uncertainties. We need to be present focused, look at what's happening there. And that's what I do. Okay, and number two is this, is, is, uh, uh, is our anger. Okay, our anger. And this is a huge thing. And a lot of times I'll, I'll see kids come in with, and parents say, you know what, one of the things I need my child to do is work on their anger. Or they just got to be able to control their anger. And you know what, they're learning it from us. A lot of times, more often than not, and probably 90% of the time when I see a student, a child that's really struggling emotionally with their anger, I know that there's, uh, there's some place that they are seeing uh, how to respond with their emotions and our kids don't always listen to us and they can drive us to that edge they drive us right to that edge where we're about ready to lose our minds and ready to go crazy pulling our hair out and you know parents i know that struggle is real if you have a child that pushes your buttons and it's true that our children see and they are whether they are very conscious of it or not they can tell when our buttons are being pushed, when we are losing it. So, uh, so we need to be extremely aware of what we're doing and how we're feeling. And if you notice that your anger is starting to build up, starting to flare up, you've got to take the discipline and take a minute to remind yourself that you are leading the way in this, that you are the parent, you are the adult. We have to take control of our emotions. And I teach this at DKC. Our first line of defense is is the letter A, awareness. And once you are aware of how you're feeling, you need to assess it quickly and move to the right appropriate action. And we need to lead the way on this. And of course, by the way, guys, we teach that to our students. Uh, we teach them the ABCs of self-defense. And I do the best that I can to lead the way with that as an instructor, as a teacher on the training floor. And so if you want to find out about the program that, that where we teach, where I teach, uh, just go to DonataKarate.com. Call us, 856-235-0414. But of course, you can text me right now and I'll send you any information that you might that might be helpful to you. Text me at 856-278-5282. Let's move on to number three. And I only have five of these guys. Now, right below, if you come up, if I miss something, you think something should be mentioned about one of the struggles that maybe you're, you've experienced or are experiencing or maybe a neighbor is experiencing or a family member is experiencing when it comes to parenting, a real struggle because we know the, the uh, parenting is a real struggle and it's a challenge, it's hard, and it's, a, it's, it's an incredibly challenging job. And so the, my next thing here, doubt, doubt. And parents, we go through this, you know, we go through moments of uncertainty. Yes, the fear, but the doubt is there. We will second guess more often than not everything. And we worry that did we make the right choice here? Did we do the right thing here? Did I say the right thing? And you know what? We're not perfect. We're, we're not going to get it right 100% of the time. I'm not going to say the right thing 100% of the time. I'm going to put my foot in my mouth. I'm going to hurt people's feelings at times. You know, it's just the way it is. I'm not perfect. You know, but uh, being aware of what I'm doing and then when I realize that, uh, that I'm doubting myself, I really, I really need to uh, focus on understanding that I'm not perfect and telling myself, hey, you're not perfect. You know, not that that's my excuse to, to mess up, but I need to understand that my confidence is going to come on the fact that I, you know, my intent is to do the right thing here. And my intent is to, to keep the peace, to teach, to guide, to direct, to lead, to inspire, to encourage, and to motivate. That's my intention here. And so my doubt is not going to help me with that. You know, when I make a decision, you know, I do the best that I can to, to, uh, uh, to be aware of the fact that I need to make a decision, to assess what, uh, what choices I have, and then right away to move to the right, to the best and right action. And once I've made the choice, that's it. It's done. 
Now, whether it's a, it, it turns out the way I had hoped it would turn out or not, it doesn't matter because I won't always get the uh, what I want, right? We don't always get what we want, but we can always get a lesson from it. So we can learn and then, but don't let our doubt stop us or freeze us and get us to this place where we don't make a decision at all. We need to lead the way on this. And parents, you know, there's a full life that we want to live and let's make our choices. Let's not let doubt get in the way. Let's assess it every situation and move to the best option and once we've made that choice we stand on it and if it's a mistake we learn from it and then we move on and that really will teach our children because you know life is not perfect life gets real messy really fast comes fast furious and ferociously at us and it will come at our children but when our children see us mess up make a mistake and they see us really just rise up learn from it and keep moving that's going to raise them up in the way they should go. That's how they should act. That's how they should respond. Not get locked down and uh, with uh, doubting and fear and uncertainty. To move to action, learn from the, uh, the lessons, and keep going. And guys, we all mess up. The next thing, guys, number four, is this control. Parents, yes, you know, <laughs> from the moment our children are born, we're in control. We feed them, we clean them, we provide for them, and we nurture them. We do all that we can uh, to control their environment so that they are safe. And it's hard to let that go. Uh, there's a time and a place for that. But as our children get older, 6, 7, 8, 10, 14, 18 years old, 20 years old, 30 years old, when they get older, they're, 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 uh, we have to let go of the control and it feels good to have control I mean I, I you know I want control over everything but that's not the reality and some of us parents can be too controlling and I see this many times where parents just want to control everything about their child and not giving their child any space to grow and that's how our children will grow we have to allow them to be independent in a way let them have some control now of course it has to be age appropriate we have to be aware of their age we have to assess and, and decide what's the right appropriate action and level of control but parents we need to be aware of the fact that we have to help our children to learn how to control themselves, how to control their environments, how to control the people that are around them, leading, guiding, and, and directing them. But we need to let go. And I know letting go is extremely hard. And I think I really do believe uh, it's harder for moms than it is for dads. It's not as hard for me to really let go the way it is for my, my wife to let go because I think moms, you guys are just hands-on. You, you gave birth to the child and you nurtured the child from uh, inf from uh, guess, conception and so the let go I think for a mom is just it, it's just it very it's definitely different than it is for a dad but both of us both moms and dads we struggle with this level of letting go and letting go of that control so we need to be willing to allow our children to control um, their environments control their decisions and then allow them give them the space to mess up and learn from their lessons because that lesson that is learned will resonate with them that will be the beginning of their wisdom so parents that's number four for me you know we got to let control we got to let control but in a very discerning and uh, a very thoughtful way age appropriate parents age appropriate okay next thing is this high expectations many of us parents I, mean, I do it all the time I have always have expectations I don't want expectations you know I expect myself to do the right thing to, to be disciplined to to get up when I'm supposed to get up every day to to meet my responsibilities and to there's things that I expect there's also things that I look forward to and I expect from um, from my family but you know, I have to, uh, again, I have to be aware of the limitations. We all want our children to be successful. We want everyone to be successful. I know I do. But, you know, some of us parents, you know, have such high expectations that our children feel the pressure of that and it stifles them and holds them back. They start really uh, getting, you know, so, uh, 
to uh, so, uh, all this pressure where they freeze and they don't do anything. It's almost like a deer in the headlights kind of thing. And so we want to have expectations, but to really be aware of our expectations, be thoughtful about it, our expectations, and just you know move forward with our expectations with extreme thought and care and understanding and you know our goal is to raise the ball child the way they should go because they're going to lead their own lives and when our children feel that pressure they can become overwhelmed that can lead to depression or rebellion and so parents we need to be aware of that we need to assess it and we need to move to the right appropriate actions when it comes to our ability uh, to expect uh, of our children, what we would like from our children, and just to be uh, have you know just have our finger on the pulse of our expectations, and you know, make sure that our that our ch children uh, their expectations are realistic, they're attainable, and that our children understand that. Then we make it clear for them, we help them with that, and we just really be aware of how they're feeling and and uh, see where they're coming from, listen to them, and always have that open communication for them. And if we want them to succeed, we need to let them know, hey, look, you know, we want you to be successful. You know, we're here to help you with that, and we want to help you get set up for success, and we don't want you to fail. But at the same time, you know, success for them may be different for us, and their failures will be their opportunities to learn invaluable lessons. That's where they begin their life lessons, their wisdom. Okay, guys, so that's what I have for you guys today. I just thought I'd share that with you today. And again, there's something I last minute I, I thought I'd share with you. See, because I'm a parent. I know the parent parenting the struggle is real there I have a 15 year old and an 18 year old and you know we've gone through you know some of those you know hardcore years my son's 15 so he's going through high school we're helping him with that managing that with his friends you know my daughter's now 18 looking at what it is to be a young adult and managing the responsibilities of that and we're here as parents you know, guiding, directing, encouraging, inspiring them. But the struggle is there. We're always going to be moms. We're always going to be dads. And so we need to be self-aware enough so that we can uh, make sure that uh, that we are doing it very thoughtfully and really considering our children as they develop, as they grow into teens and young adults into mature adults. So that's what I thought of today, guys. You know, what are your thoughts? What are some things that uh, you believe parents, maybe you, have struggled with that really as a parent has been a real struggle? We talk about that, you know, I... I talk about that a lot with the parents. You know, when I get together with them, we're talking, hey, how was your day? And we'll talk about it. I had a parent coming yesterday, and I could tell that she had she needed a moment, a break from her child. And I, I was more than happy to get them on the floor, get them into the uh, into the class, and uh, went to the parent, and we chatted for a while. And, and just they need, just needed, you know, just some air. And I could tell they needed that. And I see the challenges that are out there. The struggle is real. So... What's the hardest issue or the hardest struggle that you've you've noticed or that you've experienced as a parent? I'd be interested to hear uh, to hear what that is. Okay, guys, I'm gonna leave you. It's lunchtime now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make my juice, make a fresh juice right now. I have a huge, huge salad with a lot of spinach in it. It's gonna be a big bowl, a big bowl, big bowl like this. Okay, guys. Now, once again, if you want to find out about our martial arts program at Donato Karate Center, go to DonatoKarate.com, or you can call at 856-235-0414. Master Donato or Mrs. Donato will answer, and they will they will answer any questions that you might have. If you want to see our class schedule, we do have the class schedule available at, on our website at DonatoKarate.com. Now, if you want to text me, Directly, I can send you those links. If you have specific questions that you want to ask about our program, text me at 856-235-278. 856-278-5282. Other than that, guys, you have a blessed day. Enjoy the rest of your, of your day if you're a student. I look forward to seeing you guys on the mats today, tonight. Full-on classes. You guys have a great day. Take care.